Cumberland County Public Library and Information Center will host its 8th annual Gingerbread House Contest on December 7th at the West Regional Branch Library. Librarian Nathan Whit encourages all ages to get creative and join in the fun. You can get started on your masterpiece by checking out the resources available at your library. This is the 8th annual Gingerbread House Contest uh, at the Cumberland County Public Library. Um, in past years, it's been at the Cliffdale Library, but this year we're actually having the Gingerbread House at our newest branch, which opened in 2010. It's the West Regional Branch Library. It's in the southwest part of Cumberland County, um, adjacent to New Century International Elementary School. And we're really excited about the Gingerbread House Contest. Um, it's been popular in past years. Um, it's a great way to get the family engaged. Uh, we have a lot of books related to gingerbread. Um, and it's just, a, it's just a really exciting event that we are proud to present again this year. There, there's been a really um, solid turnout. Um, a lot of schools, a lot of kids especially participating. Um, you know, we try to reach out to different, we put ads up in the hobby stores. We really try to reach out to a lot of the kind of crafty organizations here in Cumberland County. Um, schools turn out. We actually, I saw this great picture of a, of a class showing all their medals for winning from the previous year. So a lot of people are perennially excited about this event. Well, they can go ahead and start thinking about um, how they want to put their gingerbread house together. One thing to note about the gingerbread houses is that everything on there has to be edible. So if you have lollipops, you have to take those sticks off, but everything on the gingerbread house uh, needs to be edible. The actual gingerbread house contest will be on Saturday, December 7th. Judging will begin at 3 p.m. And for people who don't want to participate, um, forms will be available on our website or at any library location. Um, those will need to be turned in on the Thursday before that Saturday. I believe it's um, December 5th by 9 p.m. You'll need to either hand that in or you can fax it to any library location. Um, again, all details will be available on the library's website and people can start actually bringing their gingerbread houses in between uh, 1 to 6 p.m. on the Friday before the gingerbread house contest or the Saturday of the gingerbread ha con house contest from 9 to 11. They can bring. So we have categories for different ages. Um, our first category will be um, is for children and that's for um, anyone under nine, so eight and under. Uh, next category will be for youth, will be for ages nine to 11. Then we'll have a teen category, which is ages 12 to 18. And then everyone above that will have um, an adult category. We also have a family category, which are for gingerbread houses where the entire family collaborates on. And one thing to note with our younger categories, um, you know, for safety reasons, you know, we, we have adults supervised, but for any gingerbread house where the adults actually involved in the construction or design, we ask that they enter that into the family category. And also with the awarding, we'll also have a viewer's choice award uh, that the audience who sees the houses will be able to, um, to place a vote for. Some of the rules, biggest one, everything's got to be edible. Um, the other big rules, you know, you'll have, a, you'll have a base for it. Underneath that base, you'll need to, and again, all the details will be available online. But underneath that base, you'll need to put your name and your, your contact information. I believe that's an 18 by 24 inch base. But the biggest thing is everything's got to be edible on there. Our judges were really excited. We're having uh, Anna Haley, who's actually the, she's from the Junior League of Fayetteville. Um, and she's actually chair of the 2013 Holiday Festival. We're also having Michelle Movius, um, and she's a certified Wilton instructor. Um, and we're also having Caitlin Deneen from the uh, Fayetteville Observer. She's a reporter there. So we're really excited about our judges. And um, they're going to be looking for the overall appearance of the gingerbread house, the amount of gingerbread used, creativity, to, you know, just kind of artistic merit to it. So, so it's kind of a variety of factors there. Um, but kind of the overall design and, and, and appearance. It's become a tradition here at the library. Again, this is our eighth annual one, and there's a weird kind of synergy between the library and gingerbread, as weird as it sounds. Like, there are so many different retellings of the gingerbread man. I mean, there's like the gingerbread cowboy, there's like a Cajun version of it, and we also have a lot of books related to um, actually constructing gingerbread houses for people who, like me, who don't really know where to start. Um, but it really is a, an opportunity to get families working together, get, get the family all in the kitchen, um, and just kind of collaborating on something really great. Um, another you know, great thing about it is that the only limit really is everything has to be edible when you gotta use your candy and your gingerbread. So you're sort of working within a set of parameters, but your only limit aside from that is your creativity. So it's, it's a really cool way to get kids um, kind of 
involved in a, a big kind of project. At West, we're actually offering a cake design program. I believe it's December 1st, so you can check our website, or we have a cal uh, paper calendar events available in any library. But it's actually, um, you know, kind of talks about, you know, cake design and that sort of thing, which is incredibly huge with you. You see all the things on TV now. Um, you know, cupcakes things have been sprouting up for years, bakeries. So it, it's, a, it's a big trend right now, and it really sort of capitalizes both on that public interest and also on um, our contest coming up. The gingerbread houses, you're welcome to take them home, you know, after judging is complete. But if you want, you can, you're welcome to leave them at the library and we'll keep them on display for the holidays for everyone to see. So that's a, that's a great, you know, option for you if you just, or, you know, really like, well, I don't have room at the house for this. We, you, hey, we, we will accept the decoration. So you can go to any library location for more information or probably the best source is actually our website and we'll have a link to the gingerbread house which will have a selection of books that you can use towards building gingerbread houses. Um, and it also have the, um, the entry form that you can download online. So really just our website will have a great link and have more details. And if you have any questions or anything, you can stop by any lo library location or you can call, email us. We're all happy to um, provide that information for you.